Hi, welcome to Linux Mint 18.1 XFCE. This tutorial is about the desktop settings. So yes, you have a menu in XFCE, desktop settings. It's uh, similar than the Mate Week in the Mate version of Linux Mint. And here we can as well change from MetaCity to MetaCity Compositing, MetaCity Compton, XFMW, the Windows Manager, and compositing and Compton, and not the last but not the least one, Compis. So we have three, three, and one, seven choices, seven window managers you can lay out, but there are only two, this one, this one, well, three then, because these two are the same, in, this, in essence, eh? it's Compton, and Compis. So Compton and Compis are the two elements we can change ourselves. So MetaCity, let's have a look. No shadows. And then you go to MetaCity Compositing and here you see already a very, very faint uh, shadow, but it's there. MetaCity Compton is a file you need to push, to put, not to push, to put in the uh, hidden folder .config. And for your uh, leisure, for your uh, for this education uh, tutorial, I have given the shadow a red color, so you know this Compton file is working. This is my file. As you can see, it's red everywhere as well here. Shadow. It can do more than shadows, Compton, but let's go over it. So this is XFWM4 no shadow compositing a little bit shadow no. and then the Compton there you go the red kicked in again so this is one specific file which is located in the home folder dot config slash Compton dot conf and not last but not least compass but this tutorial is about this tutorial is about Compton so this file this one and this one is actually a file that we can write we can change it's an individual you can make it your own it's very uh, well easy to change as well because you have to go to the dot config and then you need to have this file Compton conf and there are lots of files online just type Compton conf and then github for instance and you'll get lots of files so mine is as well on github and here you see why it's red let's get rid of it now so here you can see tell him red green blue so you can get a white uh, kind of sh shadow or a red or a green or a blue or anything all colors are possible 16 million colors but there should be numbers between 0 and 1 so it's a bit experimenting what color it is then. But in essence, we don't want the color, we save it. And this Compton file does many things. It makes the shadow true. How big a shadow you want, maybe you find it too big. So the radius 777, these three. You can make the shadow opaque, so transparent. You can exclude some of these things, like uh, the conky. The conky is on my second screen. No shadow on my conky, please. So that's already taken care of. The same for music changes and sound volume and all that. That's notify on screen display. And so all these hashtags will never work. So it's just for, um, well, you have to omit, you have to delete these, and then it works. So opacity, the menu opacity, can you? make this opaque yes you can as you can see you can, you can see right through it so that's interesting to know but it i think it was 0 0.8 and i found it too difficult to read so i took 0 0.9 inactive opacity when something is not active anymore as you see this is not active and becomes opaque now this is being become uh, opaque and so on so there are a lot of elements to figure out and to see frame opacity this here you see the stars here stars 
so there's this little line frame opacity alpha step inactive and 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 so on that is the steps in which it changes the inactive dimming okay and well a lot of things to check fading is also interesting interesting so going down like so is done fading in fading out you find it too too slow okay you change the the numbers here delta fade in step fade out step and so on and all the rest just this these things i just keep off it i wouldn't know what it is but these are the other settings that i don't use all right so this is compton you can activate compton with meta city or with xf wm4 so it's up to you check out if there are differences or not my guess is there are not much much differences but uh, well we should check it out i don't know really if there are so after using it for some time you will see if there are differences or not so you see the dimming in the dimming out everything works in that respect uh, these are two the same program so there will won't be dimming but if you take us another program like this one then these things are dimming you see between oh yeah two two monitors you don't see okay this one then this one this is now transparent well i also told him when i move over then you should select it it's somewhere in the settings in xfc so like so so you like it you hate it anyway the setting is there you can play with it and you can change it again so the Compton Conf has been dealt with you can activate it it's here it's here and it's on my github and next tutorial will be about compass